Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Celebration second release products, as well as our Sweet Cups. And I do have a pattern to share with you to get the perfect wrap around this cup, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So Celebration second release starts Friday, February 15th, and there are three items that you can earn for free in addition to the other items that we released January 3rd. We have the All Adorn stamp set, and while it was designed to be used with the Stamparatus, you certainly do not have to use it with the Stamparatus. It works great without the Stamparatus. We have the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, and when it says dynamic, you're going to get a really super deep impression. And then we have the Painted Season Bundle. Now these two items are free with a $50 purchase in my store at shoppingwithbarb.com. The Painted Season Bundle Stamp Set and Designer Series Paper is free with a $100 purchase. So you can go to my blog at barbstamps.com, find my shopping link there, or you can go directly to shoppingwithbarb.com and get your products there. So here is the Painted Season Stamp Set. And this is the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. There are four different patterns in the package and there are three of each pattern. So we have the succulents, the cute mushroom pattern, we have the Christmassy, wintry pattern, and then we have these gorgeous flowers. And then when you turn them over, they're just very simple uh, patterns that can be used really with anything. And we do have coordinating colors for these items. And I made myself a little cheat sheet here. So I've got the name of the paper at the top, all the coordinating colors, and then I have everything on this uh, sheet of cardstock here. So I have all the patterns of the paper, both sides, the coordinating colors, pumpkin pie, call me clover, petal pink, lemon lime twist, early espresso, mango melody, grapefruit grove, crumb cake, puppy parade, and pool party. And so this will help me when I'm trying to design projects to use with this paper. All right, so then here is the stamp set, the Painted Season stamp set, and this is really cool. It's one of our distinctive uh, lines of stamps, and so there is a great amount of detail that comes off these stamps um, when you actually press them to the paper. You get different opacities uh, just by inking them up um, in ink and stamping them on your paper. You'll get some different opacities. Now I'm going to bring in the Four Seasons Framelits dies. This is a coordinating product for this stamp set. This is something you can purchase beginning March 1st. So the bundle, the paper, and the stamps you can earn for free, and then you can purchase the Framelits as a coordinating product to your stamp set. And these are available, like I said, March 1st. And here are the dies. There are 10 dies in the set and then they coordinate with the stamped images. So you can see, like I said, look at the detail on that flower and this succulent, the pine cone, and then the uh, pine boughs there. Just amazing, amazing detail. And so the dice, there's 10 of them, one for this flower, one for the succulent, two for this image here, one pine cone, two of this leaf image, and three of these small leaves. So it's gonna be a great coordinating product for this bundle, and I'm super excited about it. All right, so here is the folder. You can see the dramatic detail um, and the impression that that folder gives this piece of paper. So that is a free item for $50. All right, so here's a card that I created using um, the designer series paper and the die cuts and the stamps. Fun happy birthday card. And now I wanted to make a coordinating gift item for this. And so I'm going to be using our sweet treat cups to do that. And I do have one done here that is a valentine that I made. And I've just got it filled up with some chocolate, which isn't going to last very long. But uh, you may be wondering, how do you get the cups covered? How do you, where do you get a pattern? Well, let me just show you what I've done. I took a cup and I sacrificed it for you guys. I peeled this apart. I placed it on a piece of cardboard. And made myself a template very simple just like that. I then took the template to my scanner and I just created a template that you can print out on your own printer and make for yourself to go around these cups so you don't have to sacrifice one. So this will be on my blog. You can find the post for this pattern in the description box below this video. It will always be there and you can print it off anytime. Just make sure when you print it that you print it at full size 
um, and I'm not a printer guru, so if you have issues printing it, I, I won't be able to help you, but um, just make sure you print it at full size. Okay, so I took my template, placed it on my designer series paper. Actually, I did it on the back side so that I wouldn't have any pencil lines. So I placed it on here, I drew around it with a pencil, and then I fussy cut it out with some scissors. And now I did cut inside the pencil lines rather than outside. I found that cutting inside the pencil line um, gives you a better fit around the cup. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a bone folder and you're going to want to kind of curl this piece just a little bit just to kind of get it started so it wants to wrap around your cup. Okay. And then I always do a test just to make sure that it fits and I do like to shove it up underneath this little lip that is on the cup. I find that I get really good placement that way. And then you just want to bring it around and make sure that it's going to fit. You don't want to have any excess hanging around the bottom of the cup. And if you do, you can just trim that off with a pair of scissors. So that looks like a perfect fit. So then all you have to do is just add some glue to your cup. I'm going to use some liquid glue here because it does, um, gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Oh, come on out of here, glue. Oh, my glue is clogged. So here's what I have as a glue unclogger. I have some pins that I stuck into this foam piece and I just push that in and then my glue should start coming out. Yep, there we go. And so I'm just going to scribble some glue all over the cup. I'm not going to be perfect about it. Whatever you get on there is going to be enough. And then I'd like to find uh, the seam and we're just going to start covering it at the seam. Okay, so remember to tuck it down into that lip. Just roll it all the way around the whole thing and tuck it up under there when you get to this end. And just add your little bit of glue at this end of the paper so it'll stick. I don't want a ton, I don't want it to squeeze out, so I did remove a tad bit. And then you'll have a nice, nice fit there. Okay. And then we'll be easy enough. And now we need to do some decorating of our cup. So we're going to decorate the lid. And so I've gone ahead and taken the largest scallop circle from our circle, layering circles framelits and the largest plain circle from the layering circles framelits. And we're going to just attach these two pieces together. And this is lemon lime twist. And then this is the back side of the kind of Christmassy pattern. And this particular paper that I'm using, uh, Lemon Lime Twist and Pool Party, are definitely two of the colors in it. There is also a pinkish kind of color. And I kind of feel like that's like a Melon Mambo, maybe stamped off one time. So uh, could be, maybe not. So that is a, that was perfect of a fit as we're going to get with the dice that we have. So we can close up the little cup there. And then I'm going to have the seam for my cup lid go back here in the seam where the paper is that way I don't have any so the front looks really nice so now we're going to do some stamping so I'm going to bring in the painted season stamp set oh whoops I already took it out it's already on a block silly me there we go we're also going to use the itty bitty birthday set I did use that on the greeting card and on this one we're going to use the it's sure to be a fun day sentiment so here's that I have my pool party ink and my lemon lime twist, and some white scraps. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give myself a lemon lime twist flower or succulent, I guess. That looks good. Now I'm going to bring that in and clean that off with my stamp and chamois because I don't need the lemon lime twist anymore. And my chamois looks horrible. I'm, I do see that and I apologize. It's not dirty, it's just stained. And that's the nature of this product. And it's amazing and it works great even if it is stained okay so the next one we're going to do is we're going to ink it up in the pool party okay and then i'm going to take my i just re-inked my pad so it's a little bit much so i'm actually going to use my sponge dauber to go ahead and add some ink to that and then i'm going to take my lemon lime twist and i'm just going to kind of add a little bit of ink <sighs> give it a huff on and then we're going to stamp that and then you can kind of see I have a little bit of lemon lime twist around on that, which I think looks kind of cool. So we're going to clean this off again. All right. 
And we're going to get up one more time in the pool party. Again, using my sponge dauber to kind of clean up some of that ink because I was just reading to my pad. And then this time we're going to kind of maybe add a little bit more of the green. Huff on it again. Stamp it down. And there we have it. And so you can see we have a little bit more of the green in there this time. So then we're going to take our sentiment and I need another scrap of white. This little piece here will work great. And I can stamp that. And then I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot. And I'm going to use my rectangle stitched framelits. And I'm going to use my lettered ones over here. This, sec this set I've lettered A, B, C, D. And I'm going to use B. And I'm just going to cut this just like this. So that's why I didn't need a full piece of paper. I just needed a small one. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut these and I'll be right back. All right, so here are my succulents. And then here is my uh, piece from the rectangle die. Toss this. And I'm going to add an exclamation point to the end of this word day with my lemon lime twist marker. Stampin' Right marker. Got to get my reading glasses on. Apologize if my hair is in the video. Well, I'll scoop that up just a little bit. There we go. Also going to bring in a scrap of lemon lime twist and my decorative ribbon border punch. And I'm just going to slide that in and give myself a little border piece here. And I'm going to add this underneath my sentiment piece. Just because I have the scallops on the cup, I thought if I had some scallops on my sentiment, that might look pretty cool. Okay. Get that lined up on there. That looks pretty good. Bring in a pair of scissors. We don't need all of that because we're going to tuck that under the succulents. Get these bits out of the way. I'm done with my ink pads. Now I'm going to bring in some of my glitter enamel dots. I have some here that I haven't taken off the backing papers just yet. And I thought that I would add those to the center of these flowers. Uh, succulents, I keep calling them flowers. So we're going to go with the lemon or with the granny apple green in the center of that one. And these coastal cabanas are pretty darn close to pool parties, so they're going to look great. Nothing bad having a little bit of bling on something. Okay, so this little piece here we're going to attach to the top of the cup. Try to get that centered. Actually, I'm going to take it off the cup so that I can press down with my hands here to get that lined up. All right. And then these little goodies here. How do I want to do this? Maybe that, that underneath, just like this, and I'm going to tuck this underneath that, but I think I'm going to pop some of these up. So I'm going to pop up this one for sure. And I'm running out of dimensionals here. We'll just snip these ends. Of course, never throw your dimensional ends away. Okay. So if our sentiment is here, I don't have any fingernails, so picking that up is a struggle. Okay, so then I could maybe put that like that. I could maybe tuck that one under and this one under over here. So we'll do that, add some glue. one under and we'll tuck this one under whoops that was a bit more glue than I needed snip a little bit of that off because I don't need that okay and then that little guy I guess we'll go ahead and use a dimensional on that Peel the backing off and we'll just kind of tuck this underneath of our succulent here like that. That looks pretty good. And actually, I might move this one back 
just a bit like that okay so the lid is almost done I was gonna take some of my pool party shimmer ribbon and I'm gonna wrap it around the cup just like this so I'm gonna grab some tear tape adhesive all right and we're gonna actually have it end right in the front because we're gonna end up wrapping a bow or tying a bow to add to the cup lid okay press that down all the way around peel it up okay and then we're going to start the ribbon like I said right in the front and we're just going to go around the whole thing. There we go. Snip off that end. And then to tie a bow, this is how I tie my bows. I make two rabbit ears. I cross the ears, pull the one through, and then just manipulate it and tighten it up until it's um, the way I want it. So I've already done that. I have one over here that's done and I did go ahead and trim the ends and all I did was fold the ends. Well, I'll do it on this piece here. You just fold the ends so that the two sides are together. Okay. And then you just snip straight up from the fold line and then you get to that nice little kind of uh, fun decorative bow edge there. I like to call it a snake tongue or something. And so then all we have to do is add a couple of glue dots to the back of the bow. And we can stick it on the front. And then our lid is complete. Just like that. So cute. You can fill it up with whatever you want. You could wrap up some jewelry and put that in there. Isn't that going to make a super cute gift? We have our happy birthday card, our fun little cup. And remember, guys, the pattern, you can download it off my blog. I'll have a link in the description box as to uh, where you can get that on my blog to print that off. So um, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please give them a thumbs up if you do. I appreciate that very much. Uh, leave me a comment or a question if you have it. I'm happy to answer them for you. You can order your supplies for any of these projects um, in my store at shoppingwithbarb.com. And as I always say, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.